Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful crochet doily pattern. So first let's see the measurement for this doily. So this doily measures about at the center. It measures about 12 inches which is a 30 centimeter. And then for making this doily, I have used this 4 ply acrylic yarn or fingering weight yarn in this beautiful pink color. You can also use cotton yarn. And crochet hook, I have used a 3 millimeter crochet hook for this project. So this is a very beautiful and easy project. So let's get started. First we are going to make a magic circle. And then we will work in this magic circle. So first we will chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This chain 3 counts as a double crochet. And we are going to work 11 more double crochets in the magic circle. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have worked 11 double crochets. Now I'm going to pull this yarn tail and close the magic circle. So we have 12 double crochets including the first chain 3. Now slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. And close the first round. So I slip stitched into the chain 3, finish the round 1. Then for the next round we are going to chain 1 and work a puff stitch. So pull a loop and then pull 3 more loops from the same. 2, 3. So we have pulled 4 loops from the first stitch. Then yarn over, pull through all loops, then close the puff. So that's our puff stitch. And then chain 2 we are going to work puff stitch into the next stitch. So pull 4 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then pull through all the loops. Then close the puff. Then again chain 2. Puff stitch in the next stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. Pull through all the loops. Then close. Chain 2. Puff stitch in the next stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. Pull through all the loops close then chain 2 puff in the next stitch 1 2 3 4 pull through all the loops then close the puff so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern I'll meet you at the end so here I have finished my last puff now I'm going to chain 2 and slip stitch on top of this first puff that we made. So make a slip stitch and finish this round. Then for the next round slip stitch into the chain 2 space and we will start from here. Chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then work 2 more double crochets into the same space. 1 and Two in the same space so we have three double crochets here including the first chain three then chain one 
work 3 double crochets into the next chain 2 space 1 2 3 then again chain 1 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 then again chain 1 3 double crochets in the next space 1 2 and 3 so like this we will repeat I'll meet you at the end so here I'm near the end of this round I have made chain 1 now I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 here make a slip stitch and finish this round so that's the end of this round so for the next round chain 3 which again counts as a double crochet then work one double crochet into the next stitch and we will increase in the third stitch that is we will work two double crochets into the same stitch one and two in the same stitch so we have four double crochets here then chain one work one double crochet into the first two stitches one two then increase in the third stitch so one and two double crochet in the same stitch then chain one work one double crochet in the first two stitches one two then increase in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch so like this we will repeat and finish this round so here I have finished this round for the next round chain 3 and we will work one double crochet into the next two stitches so one two then we will increase in this fourth stitch one and two in the same stitch so we have five double crochets here then chain one work one double crochet in the first three stitches one two three and increase in the fourth stitch one and two in the same stitch then again chain one work one double crochet in the first three stitches one two three and then increase in the fourth stitch just one and two in the same stitch so like this we will repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here i have finished this round so we have we are going to do four more rounds of increase so here you can see we have three then four then five double crochets so in the next round we will have six seven eight and nine double crochets so here in between we will chain one in all the rounds so i'm going to make four more rounds of increase and i will meet you there so here I have finished four more rounds. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rounds of increase, and in the last round we are having nine double crochets. Then we will proceed with the next round. So for that, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Then we will chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Then we will work one double crochet into the next six stitches one two three four five six so we have seven double crochets here 
including the first chain 3 then we will chain 3 then into this chain 1 space let's work a single crochet then again chain 3 then here also we will skip the first and last stitch and work the center 7 double crochets so skip the first stitch and work 7 double crochets 2 3 4 5 6 7 then chain 3 single crochet in the chain 1 space chain 3 and again here skip the first and last stitch and work the 7 double crochets in between 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so like this we are going to repeat this same pattern and finish this round so here I have finished this round so for the next round we are going to chain 1 and single crochet into the same stitch and then we will chain 3 1 2 3 skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next one then again chain 3 skip one stitch and single crochet into the next one again chain 3 skip one stitch and single crochet into the next one so we have three chain three spaces here then chain seven three four five six seven then we are going to skip this part and single crochet on top of this first double crochet then we will repeat the same chain three skip one stitch and single crochet into the next one chain three skip one stitch and single crochet into the next one chain three skip one stitch single crochet into the next one so here we will chain seven two three four five six seven and then we will single crochet on top of this double crochet then chain three skip one stitch and single crochet in the next one chain three skip one stitch single crochet into the next one again chain three skip one stitch and single crochet in the next one then chain seven three four five six seven single crochet on top of this first double crochet so then we are going to repeat this same pattern around and finish this round in here so here I am near the end of this round I have made the final chain 7 now we are going to make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet that we made so slip stitch in that so we have finished this round so then for the next round I am going to slip stitch into the next chain and single crochet in the same space then we will start from here chain 3 single crochet in the next chain 3 space again chain 3 single crochet in the next chain 3 space and we are going to work 5 double crochets in this chain 7 space 1 2 3 4 5 so we have 5 double crochets then chain 2 and work 5 more double crochets in the same space 1 2 
three, four, five. So we have five double crochets, chain two and five double crochets in the chain seven space. Then single crochet into the next chain three space. Then again chain three, single crochet in the next space. Again chain three, single crochet in the next space. Then in the chain seven we will do the same work. Five double crochets. One, two. Three, four, five. Then chain two. Work five more double crochets in the same space. One, two, three, four, and five. Then single crochet into the next chain three space. So like this, we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round. I mean here. So here I'm near the end of this round. I have made the five double crochets. Then we are going to make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we made. So slip stitch and finish the round for the next round again slip stitch into the first chain and single crochet into the same space so here we are at the center then we will chain three single crochet into the next chain three space and then we are going to chain four three four and we will work Four, six double crochets into this chain two space one two three four five six so we have six double crochets and then we are going to chain four and we are going to single crochet into this chain 3 space then chain 3 single crochet into the next chain 3 space then chain 4 2 3 4 work 6 double crochets into this chain 2 space 1 2 3 four five and six and then we will chain four and single crochet into this space then chain three single crochet in the next space chain four and work six double crochets into the chain two space one two three four five six and then we will chain four one two three four single crochet into this chain three space and we are going to repeat this same pattern around they'll meet you here at this end so here i'm near the end of this round i have made chain four now i'm going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made in this round so that's the end of this round then we are going to work the final round of our doily so slip stitch into the next chain and single crochet into the same space and then we are going to chain four and work double crochet on top of this first double crochet here so work a double crochet 
then we are going to chain 3 and make a picot so insert your hook into these two side loops and make a single crochet so that's our picot then we will double crochet into the next stitch again chain 3 and make a picot so single crochet into these two side loops and make a picot then double crochet in the next stitch chain 3 1 2 3 and make a picot again double crochet into the next stitch chain 3 and make a picot again double crochet in the next stitch chain 3 and make a picot again double crochet in the last stitch the sixth stitch chain 3 and make a picot so here you can see we have six double crochet with picot then we are going to chain four and single crochet into this chain three space at the center so make a single crochet so like this we are going to repeat so chain four 3, 4, double crochet in the first double crochet, then chain 3, make a picot, double crochet in the next stitch, then chain 3, make a picot, then double crochet in the next stitch, chain 3 and make a picot again double crochet in the next stitch chain 3 and make a picot again double crochet in the next stitch chain 3 make a picot again double crochet into the last stitch chain 3 and make a picot then we will chain 4 and make a single crochet here so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and I'll meet you here at this end so here I'm near the end of this round I have made chain 4 I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we made. So make a slip stitch, chain 1 and I am going to cut off the yarn. Pull the yarn through. So that's the end of our final round of our doily. Now I am going to show you how I am going to hide this yarn tail. So I am going to thread this yarn tail using a yarn needle. Then I'm going to pass this through the next chain and take it to the back. Like this. And then we are going to pass this through as many stitches as possible on the back side of our project. So I'm going to gently pass this through stitches on the back. Gently pull the yarn. And I'm going to pass this through some more stitches. So like this just gently pass this through some more stitches and gently pull the yarn tail so I think that's enough I'm going to cut off this excess yarn tail like this so that's how we hide all our yarn tails so our beautiful doily pattern is now ready I hope you guys liked this video tutorial so hit the like button leave a comment below share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos also hit the bell icon so you'll get all the notification for my new videos thanks for watching guys bye bye